pesa posa pesa mkosa nyoso nyoso liza ho african youth invention african I'm Emeril Lukombo. I will be discussing about this beautiful business card. So in this video, we're using a, a Photoshop to design this beautiful uh, business card. First thing to start any business card, you need to identify the size when you open a Photoshop program. So I'm going to go and then open a Photoshop program. Adopt Photoshop 2020. That's what I'm using at the moment. So when you go to Adobe and go to File, a new document, then I'm going to go to Print. I come here, I'm going to choose a centimeter of the business card South Africa, 9 centimeter by 5 centimeter. So if you use millimeter, so mostly it's going to be, if I change to millimeter, it's going to be 90 by 50. Your width is 90 and your height is 50. Your resolution is 300. Say so Create. Now that's the first thing and the second thing you need to do is to create a shape so go to shape and then draw your a, a lips shapes and then choose the shape color as blue so if you don't have color click select and then choose the blue color go to to move tools and then pack it nicely if i turn a little bit i can create the face view of my design so the rest of the thing just duplicate this shape i'm just going to duplicate right click on the shape lay on the shape layer and duplicate the layer so after duplicate the layer bring this shape the other one on the bottoms so now just turn rotate rotate this shape you're gonna see now here yeah, i have the face view already oh let me do so it's like we're creating the symbol of love duplicate again one of the uh, the uh, the shape to change this color to red just go to to the color to the shading click your shape and go to shade choose the color red now this become the top shape the top one so we put it like this so what we do now here we're gonna have to overall it uh, i think you turn it more so i want to create the other view at the same time also, duplicate this red one. Duplicate the red one and bring it on top. So when you go on top, just turn it. Turn the shape. Now, after you finish, you can see here I've got different color, different shade, like layers, you can see different. So the whole thing I did here is just duplicate this rate again, the one that we create. Duplicate, I duplicate three times. The first time, I have the one, move a little bit back, and change the color to one of the red, purple. Okay, and then duplicate this one again. And bring a lot of bit back again and put me back to red. So now it's still like this, and then I have something. Now, what you do now, you go to the first one and minimize opacity, make it a little bit down so that it can be a little bit shallow. Look. Um, the top one, let's change it to a little bit different, right? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit different um, and also minimize opacity so we repeat the same thing on the bottoms just duplicate the bottom one so this I'm gonna change a little bit color to another color and also put the same thing for this one yeah, so it's something like this so but just make sure you use the opacity it mustn't be under percent color like this now that so far if i go to our original we have so far this area there's a three area now we're gonna put this gonna put the white shapes and white shape on top white shape on the bottoms so i'm gonna go back now now duplicate this top one when you duplicate this one, duplicate, then this put the color white and move it and put back the opacity because I just duplicate the one in the opacity, it must be 100% white. The same thing, I'm going to duplicate the top one. Um, put 
it also color white. Second, you're going to duplicate the last white shape and move it back way and then put the color blue. Now we're going to have, so what am I creating? I'm creating this area. So this is a blue. So I'm going to go back. So this is a blue. So turn it so that you can have that angle. Angle. Turn it a lot of bright. That's. Um, so you can create any sh design shape you want to. I'm going to come to here, duplicate the blue again. Duplicate this blue. Then this blue, I'll move it up, then I'll turn back to white. Then I'm going to make it a little bit Q. Then, so now I'm going to play for this blue and this to have that angles. The direct tool, so, so come here on the direct tool and select so that you can modify. You're going to see the angle. I'm going to zoom in. So this will allow you to create any other form, any other view. You can see the view is changing by playing with this. So yeah, I can make it a little bit up. So if I want to create any angle, any nice angle. So it's up to you. You can create any view you want, like this one here, but I don't want something like this. I want simple things. So let me make it and go like this now that's too much another one um yes okay yeah we can burn the little bit like this um yeah okay i'm gonna go to take a round or rectangular shape doesn't matter so draw a shape and a little bit and the shape we don't want to be fill no fill and um, then we want the, uh, the border to be blue and then we make it a little bit then and then we make hundred percent angle so that it can be like a round to create i put five pixel for the border now we have this form so go to the move tool and move it back to this side so what am i creating i'm creating this view so all i need to do is duplicate 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 and move the top one a little bit back duplicate and then move the other one now the next step is to insert the text box i'm gonna go insert and click a text box now from a text box you, uh, the first thing i will tap a number okay plus 27 and two eight one so you minimize this uh, go to the move to uh to transform tool to transform the size okay now what you do uh, if we look at our original, the color is black, so we change this color. So highlight the text box and then change the color to black. Can I just use the switch tool here? Yeah? Switch to color to black. Uh, move inside the box. Okay, I think this is going to be here. Now, when you finish, to avoid confusion, just click this text box, duplicate, duplicate the layer, and then go to another, uh, and then the same thing, duplicate this, and then move from here, w dot ayi dot co dot z r. Okay, I think on my other one, I use the uh, the website on the second positions. And the first one was the email and the telephone. Okay, so you can do the other ones. Oh yeah, I finished tapping all the letters, but you can pack everything in order as I move here, tap there. Now the next step is to put the symbols. 
emails everything so the first thing you can get this thing online but the best way you must watch the other video for our core draw video where we will show how to design your own symbols but in the case don't have it you can go online you can tap maybe like um, uh, maybe like email symbol but you must make sure this some of these are copyright so you cannot use some of them must buy in the case of uh, selling for customer you have to buy so use like you can choose any one of this one i do have my symbols already so you just need to copy this you copy in your case if it, this is what you want to use and then you go to photoshop and then edit and paste so when you paste this one and then you remove the background like if i want to remove the background so what i'll do i'm gonna minimize it so you can open up a page if you struggle i'm gonna use the magnetic wand and delete all the background control and d and i clear it so from here i can resize it but i'm not gonna use this one that's what you can do when you get online so i'm gonna go get my symbols i do have my symbols so i need the address symbol i drag it and go to photoshop and then paste it but now it's still big before i continue i'm gonna put this color this symbol to be red just to i'm gonna go to i'm gonna change my color to color to this color because this is my mind color and then the red and i'm gonna use um uh i'll use a pen tools oh uh, okay when i drag it this will become a smart item so i must rasterize it right click and rasterize your um your layer and then from there i can paint it to the color red red so i'm gonna minimize it i'm going to minimize it then i try to pack so you can zoom so that you can view what you are doing pack it nice so i'm gonna zoom in so that is the address so i think this can move a little bit so I can have a gap somebody must always leave a margin so this is too close because when they print the business card when they cut and also the size very important for your text box because when they print you, you need to make sure someone must be able to read so normally like in the case like when I uh, see this one here yeah, I'm use like the time woman seven at least eight eight someone is readable so you need to pay attention for what size eight is the right size but i'm just show example so make sure all these things eight so let's say this is too small so you can still move your shapes a little bit because i still have a gap this area and then so that you can get at least like i'm using time roman at least eight size to readable eight nine it's readable but if you go over 10 12 it's too big and it mustn't be less than six because it's a business card someone must be able to read what you write so i'm gonna go take another shape again i'm gonna use uh, now a may uh, i'm gonna use this uh, whatsapp so our whatsapp number this is the ayi whatsapp number i'm gonna first put uh rasterize this shape then i'm gonna use a color red, red you can put any color you want it's up to you but it's style so you can see now here yeah, as you can see now here yeah, i finished now packing my my stuff but you can just make sure you pack it nicely as you put you insert all the symbol look for symbol online so next step we're gonna put a text box so i'm just gonna go to take it a text box and then i'll come here just throw it aside here and tap the name of the company in our case we're using african or ayi ayi so all i did now here yeah, i just tap ay and resize it and as well i use uh, african uh, highlight and i use the human 77 font so, uh, i use this one as the 
font and then I pack it there as well and also at, uh, another text box then I use this one here so the second thing I'm gonna draw uh, that line so the large I, I like to use a shape I just draw the shape like this and color uh, no and then next thing I put a burger I include a burger to embrace burger and embrace the design to make it nice a little bit deep and that's all I did and move your line and to pack it nicely there and then insert that the logo all to insert the logo and bring a logo inside and drop my logo and minimize the size pack it nicely there I'll change my color line change it to blue because that is blue is to keep the design neat so what I did now here you just need I just drag the same way you just to the text box and you click and then you tap you choose the color you want what color do you want to put and then you change the size and then choose the I think I use a, a time new Roman that's what I use there so that's what I did there and then you tap all about but now in this case you're gonna tap it's all about maybe in the case of your work if you are, you are a mechanical all about mechanical if you are a, a trainer or about training now the next step is to insert the image you can use love symbol uh, as a shape and then you go to image I look for any uh, love symbol image but in my case here I have my love symbol somewhere here I'm just gonna drag it uh, come and then paste it so I'm gonna minimize it the size and then pack it nicely here I'm gonna duplicate it because I need two of these duplicate so the other one in the bottom so the bottom one I'm gonna face hide it I'm gonna, now the next step is to insert the image I'm gonna go get to the image I think the image I do have it um, I'm gonna drag it uh, I'm gonna bring this beautiful image in side cut it rasterize it I'm gonna raster the layer and I will move the other area because I don't want to be too long. Control D, and then from here I finish. So I'm gonna move the image here, uh, minimize it. Okay, show the transformer and minimize the size. So then from here I'm gonna clip it. So come here and the layer right click, create a clip mask. Now the image too, I'm gonna minimize is too big. Oh come on, I forget. Okay. Now that's the first step. Now if I'm happy, just click this too. Um yeah, we'll pack it nicely. Then I'm gonna display the bottom one and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna resize that click the bottom and then a little bit to go over so that you can create it is to put the name of Miss Tandy Tandeka it like shapes yeah so that's what you can do until you get something that more touching if you look at this color and this a little bit different so if I put this a little bit white you can see this and this one but so far I'm gonna go to the first one because on this one I was just explaining the step so I'm gonna go to the first one and finalizing because at least this is packed nicely because here at, you understand all the step how to do I'm gonna go to the first one
now from here this is like it look like it's almost finished so the next step what you do now here yeah, you finish the business card now you understand the most important part in the business card is to show the person the the address the contact number and the name and the company name and it about the company what is about it so you can also make statistics you can draw you can change the art but i was just showing now how to create and beautiful because you can do something better than what i did now creating a style a day is good next time next step when you finish merge this go to right click merge visibility and it become an image you can make or adjustable colors like let me say the curve to make it more look nice because it become an image so you can make it like maybe shine you can see now it's coming nice or oh, remain mass face like this and then i say okay yeah so when you're happy and let's go file and then save your your funnel save as um mostly if it's a pdf you save as a pdf or as an image if i use it on your facebook online you can save as an image you go to business card so from here i can save it as an image if i want to put it i will save it as a business card save okay uh, i can also save it as a pdf as a funnel is easy and then you can save us as a pgf choose a pgf then you finish that's how you can finish thanks so much for watching uh, this video please follow us on facebook youtube instagram to watch more of our videos and um, and also attend the online courses are coming we're going to present on course yes. Exigence one condition, basket.